way there is a guaranteed super rare black bear on my map. I knew it was time to take him. We got a lot of nice close-up footage. And we managed to drop him on the spot with the 300, with the night vision scope. And he is max weight, 290 kilos, and he is 23.97 score. So he's literally 0 0.03 off of max score. But he walks broadside here and he didn't want to come in any closer to the call. So as he stops here, I get ready and I take the shot. And once again, we manage to drop a potential super rare black bear with the 300 and the night vision scope. And I pick him up and he is a diamond, just barely. And this is what I'm saying. That's a great estimate, but it does not guarantee a diamond. So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another just insanely special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. I can't believe that I'm actually recording this video because once again for the third time out here in front of us we have a guaranteed diamond cinnamon black bear. That is a guaranteed super rare once again. This is absolutely insane. And I came over here to check the fur type and as you can see it does say cinnamon. I knew it was a rare, but I wasn't sure if it was a cinnamon or a blonde because they can look kind of similar at night. And I just wasn't sure so I went and checked the track and it is another cinnamon. This is my third legendary cinnamon, my second guaranteed diamond cinnamon, and is you know as long as I don't mess up the shot, this would be my third super rare black bear and all three of them have been the cinnamon fur type this is absolutely wild my diamonds have been just absolutely crazy since i got my bears managed really well and i am gonna have a video of just a montage of a ton of trophy bears and even that's not gonna have every single diamond and rare in it just because i've had so many trophy bears as i've been grinding through hundreds and hundreds of bears in search of these great ones for me the ultimate goal was to get a fabled glacier great one black bear because i love the two variants for the fabled glacier bears i think they look so so cool with the the skull markings on their face so i've just been continuing this grind now i know that you know i've been having so many diamonds i've had a couple of great ones i've had a couple of super rares so i've just been continuing hoping that eventually a fabled glacier great one bear would also show up and instead of another great one showing up we have a third super rare we ended up with three super rares on this bear grind before three great ones, which is wild. Just absolutely wild. The chances, the RNG to get not one super rare, not two super rares, but three. I don't even know like what the chances are of that. And to end up with the only two great one bear furs that I don't have in the game to end up being the two fabled glaciers, my absolute favourites, is just wild. Because I see I see a lot of people end up with a lot of fabled glaciers. They seem to show up a lot. Probably partly because there are two variants for that fur. So, you know, you've got a bit of a better chance of getting at least one of them. But I've ended up with four great one black bears, all with unique furs, and not one of them has been a glacier, which is just wild to me. And then I've ended up with three super rare cinnamon bears before a fabled glacier black bear which is just i i just don't understand like the the chances of that it's absolutely wild like i said to get one super rare or two super rares but three super rares all with the same fur and two of them to be guaranteed diamonds is just absolutely insane absolutely insane now here i'm starting to get ready thinking about when i'm gonna take the shot on this guy he's starting to get pretty close and i'm starting to get really really nervous because just like with the first one this is a super rare as long as i don't mess up the shot you know with the the second one it was like it had a chance at being a super rare but it wasn't guaranteed this is guaranteed as long as i can make a good shot now I didn't actually want him to come in too close. I thought I'd take a little bit of a longer shot than I did on the other two. Just to make it a little bit different. And I felt pretty confident going for this shot. But when he didn't drop here. And he still ran and actually ends up running towards us. I freaked out. 
I completely freaked out, and here you're going to see my utter panic. I run straight past the e-caller, which I actually wanted to switch off, and I take a look at the bear, and I'm like, he's beautiful, but the blood. And I don't even run to go and look for the initial blood. I pick up the blood splatter here, and then check the map, and it does say that it was a vital organ hit. And I kind of relax a little bit, but when I saw that he didn't drop at that range with the 300, I was just so scared. So, so scared. And that's why I didn't even go and look for the initial blood. As soon as I saw blood, I was like, right, let's just open the map and check it. And thankfully it was fine. And then picking this guy up just to, just to, you know, solidify in my mind that everything was fine and finally see what this guy scores. He's a 23.44 scoring diamond cinnamon, super rare black bear. And the shot was absolutely fine. Flesh, right scapula and right lung. It hit the shoulder blade and just went into the one lung. That's probably why he didn't drop. But I was fully expecting him to drop at that range. Um, so when he didn't, I was like, I've messed up. Something's wrong. I, I must have done something. I must have shot him in the spine. Something's happened. And when he went down, even though he didn't go down immediately, he went down so quickly. I was like, okay, what could I have possibly hit? What What might I have done wrong here? So taking a little bit of a longer shot, which is not even a long shot, 71 meters, just, it's just a little bit longer than the previous two super rares, which I got in really, really close for their shots. But I just decided I wanted to take a little bit of a longer shot on this guy just to make it a little bit different than the other ones. And it ended up making me so, so, so scared. I was absolutely terrified that I'd mess this guy up. If I messed up a super rare or a great one, I would be so distraught. Like, I'm a very big perfectionist. I just, I like to do things right. And if I messed up a trophy like this, I would just be kicking myself so, so much. So when I saw that it did say Vital Blood and then finally picking him up and seeing the diamond actually pop up, I was like, okay, everything's okay. I can relax. But my heart was pounding, absolutely pounding. I was so, I literally, I can't describe how frightened I was that I'd messed this guy up. But thankfully I didn't. And he is a beautiful, beautiful diamond cinnamon. So now we have three super rare diamond cinnamon black bear from this, this great one grind, which is just wild. I have three super rares and four great ones for the black bear, which is just wild. I never thought I'd get one super rare. I, like I, I said it in the first video, I hoped that maybe it would be a thing at some point if I kept grinding for, you know, a long, long time still after the, the different fur variants that maybe a rare level 9 would pop up seeing as I was getting so... Well, I have been getting so many 9s. I have been getting so, so many level 9s. And I have had a decent number of rares too. I've had really good luck with the rares. So I was always, like, in the back of my mind hoping that, you know, maybe if a super rare shows up, that'd be so cool. And then I've ended up with three, which I just, I don't know what to say about that other than I will take that RNG and I'm going to be super grateful for it because just wow. Like, I can't even, this is pure luck to get, to get super rares to spawn. You know, it is just luck. You have to get that rare fur and a diamond to spawn as the same animal. Obviously, herd management, you're getting more diamonds, so there's going to be more chance at things like a super rare. But it's still so, so hard to get to get them. Because you could, you could go hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of diamonds and just never get one that ends up spawning with the rare fur. So it's it's just insane how lucky I got. And I do not take that for granted. But that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, another just insanely special video. I have been so fortunate to make three just insane super rare videos in, in just a very short space of time recently. And I, I doubt I will get this lucky again for quite a while. This is probably a lot of my luck for the a good while used up, I would imagine. But just incredible and we're going to keep grinding and we're going to see what else shows up but that is going to be it for this one so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you